Hey guys! Nowadays, everyone is watching some interesting series. These can be from anywhere like HBO, Netflix, Amazon Prime and etc. And every day, we are searching for a new and interesting series. Today, we have come up with a list of top 5 series available on Netflix. And, these are only based on our opinion and taste. You may have another opinion. But, watch the video till end, you may have get surprised. Before get into this video, please subscribe to our channel, and, click the bell icon to get notifications of our videos. And, don't forget to like the video. Don't skip the video, let's jump into the video. In our fifth place, we have Money Heist. Money Heist also known as La Casa de Papel is a Spanish television crime drama series. Netflix later acquired the rights to stream it globally in 2017. The first part of the series released by Netflix on December 20, 2017. The Spanish television series created by Alex Pina. The series focused on an enigmatic character named The Professor who plans something big and unique, to carry out the biggest robbery in history. For this, it recruits a band of eight people that meets a single requirement, none has anything to lose. Season 1 has two parts with 15 episodes. And, Season 2 has two parts with 16 episodes. There is no official news about the fifth part. If you're an ambient fan of robberies and like watching heists then, this is a must watch. You'll never feel bored while binging on it. What's exciting is the blend of mind games and emotions one could have, your intelligence and emotions don't go hand in hand which is portrayed in the best possible manner. The Professor character, portrayed by Alvaro Mort, is designed to be very intelligent with strategic planning. He can't fade from your mind, and you will be addicted to The Professor. The IMDb rating of Money Heist is 8.4 out of 10. In the fourth place, we have Mind Hunter. The question is not only, why did the killer do it? But why did the killer do it this way? Who has seen Mind Hunter? They can't forget these lines. Mind Hunter is an American crime thriller web television series created by Joe Penn Hall, based on the true crime book Mind Hunter. It is debuted worldwide on Netflix on October 13, 2017. It has two seasons and 19 episodes. The crime drama has a strong pedigree behind the camera, with Oscar-nominated director David Fincher, and Oscar-winning actress Charlize. The series basically shows the life of the two FBI agents namely, Bill Tench and Holden, who are on the mission to interview most lethal criminals who are serving their sentences in order to understand their way of thinking, their motives before committing a crime and try to use that knowledge in their ongoing and future cases. The cinematography of the series and also the castings are good. The storyline is a bit slow but, as you go on the second episode then third, fourth it becomes very interesting to watch. The best part is, it is based on true events. IMDb rating of Mind Hunter is 8.6 out of 10. In our third place, we have Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders is a British historical crime drama television series, loosely based on the real Peaky Blinders, an urban youth criminal gang based in Birmingham, England, during the late 1800s and early 1900s centuries. The series stars Cillian Murphy as Thomas Shelby, a gangster, operating during the aftermath of World War I. The British BBC historic crime series created and written by Stephen Knight. Thomas Michael Shelby is the leader of the Birmingham criminal gang, the Peaky Blinders. Tommy served in World War I, with the rank of Sergeant Major and was decorated for bravery. His experiences in World War I left him disillusioned, and beset with ongoing nightmares, and he becomes determined to move his family up in the world. The first episode is aired on September 12, 2013. There are already five seasons have been aired, with 30 episodes. The work for the sixth season already has started, and expected to be released in early 2021. As soon as you grow to love the characters, the show wastes no time putting them in danger, taking full control of your body's adrenaline output. Peaky Blinders is something you watch sitting up as opposed to lying down. The IMDb rating of Peaky Blinders is 8.8 .8 out of 10. In the second place, we have Stranger Things. 
Stranger Things is a television format series, created by the Duffer Brothers. It was released as a Netflix original series. The show takes place in the fictional town of Hawkins, Indiana in the early to mid-1980s. The first season revolves around the disappearance of Will Byers, while the second season explores the repercussions of the mysterious events of season one. The third season focuses on forces of evil that are new. The unreleased fourth season will focus on a story outside of Hawkins. The first season of Stranger Things is aired on July 15, 2016. It has three seasons with 25 episodes. The fourth season will be released in 2021. Though the main characters of Stranger Things are kids, the series is quite adult with deeply written roles and an excellent cast. The young actors bring maturity beyond their years to the leading roles. Millie Bobby Brown is show-stopping as Eleven, the girl with mysterious psychokinetic abilities. For a role with such few words, Brown presence is fiercely commanding. The IMDb rating of Stranger Things is 8.8 .8 out of 10. In our first place, we have Dark. Dark is a German science fiction thriller web television series co-created by Baron Bo Odar and Janet Fries. Dark is the first ever German language Netflix original series. It has two seasons and 18 episodes. Set in the fictitious town of Winden, Germany, Dark concerns the aftermath of a child's disappearance which exposes the secrets of, and hidden connections among, four estranged families, as they slowly unravel a sinister time travel conspiracy, which spans three generations. The timeline varies from 2019, 1900 and 2052. The actors are good, nobody made it too dramatic. The story is completely unpredictable and complicated but in a logical way. Season 1 arises so many questions in viewers' minds, and Season 2 successfully answered most of those. If you guys have some idea about the time travel paradox, then go for it, otherwise, it is not perfect for you. It's really thought to provoke one and realistic. I highly recommend it to those who love the sci-fi genre. It's hard to say when Season 3 will arrive. IMDb rating of Dark is 8.7 out of 10. And, we have a personal favorite. It is Stranger Things. You can't specify any character in Stranger Things. You will love all characters, and the story will move on with your mind full of delight. And, what is your favorite character in Stranger Things? Leave them on comments. Thanks for watching the video. Like the video and share the video. And, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.